What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Now there's a few little tips, I've been playing Minecraft for some damn time now, and someone's interrupted me. But uh, what you're going to need to be doing first is, I'm just spawning here, the best, holy shit, we just got seeds, that's a little bit creepy. It's best to look around at your surroundings, I know it sounds a little bit weird and a little bit dodgy, but it is true. Look at your surroundings first. Now, personally what I like to do first is actually go out and find food. So I don't worry about anything else because all the other resources are pretty hard, are pretty easy to come by. So food is your main thing. So what you can do is find some cows and punch the shit out of them. Every one of them. Just get a little bit. There we go. Hello, bro. You, some of you might argue that's also, yeah, you could get a wind sword. It might be a little bit easier. But personally, for the time being, as we're rushed, you've only got a little bit of time before the night actually hits. Now, I do this on even hardcore. I even do this on survival and any other particular game mode that has this sort of sense of feel or aspect in it. So personally, just kill all these shits first. Seven meat, which is not bad. You're aiming for about anywhere between seven and ten, your max. You don't actually need all of it, but it's pretty damn handy to have. Now, what you can do after that is, personally what I like to do is try and find a sheep or sheeps. Uh, this is going to be obviously structure for your bed, so we're just going to roam around here right now and see if we can find some damn sheep. Not sure how it's going to be going, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we spawn in some sort of uh, like a grassy sort of area here, so hopefully there's some sheep lurking around. As we say, food is your number one priority. Ponies, oh cool, they're cool, they're cute. Not sure you want one of them first, and BOOM! The freaking sheep have been found. So let's kill these fucking little turds, as you're going to need two of these to make a bed. So let's just massacre them, also you can get some, uh, you can actually get food from these sheep now, so that's a bonus, a, wha a double whammy if you find the aspect of sheeps as well. And I'm going to kill as many of these can. Yeah, because wool is uh, its not hard to come by, but it's just more convenient if we have more. And I believe there's one more suspect which we need to do, which is this little shit right here. Now, this is optional as well after this next method, but uh, we're going to carry on and doing sort of things that you need to be done. So we've got the food, which is the necessary thing to stash away. We've got our bed to obviously clock over in between the nights which you can, and it's obviously a good resource point. And now you can actually crack them with wood. I'd rather do those things in that stage in particular orders first. If you can't find any sheep, but you've got food, then get food and the night's coming quicker, then grab some wood. Um, if you're rushed for time, go for dirt, but if not, then just do the methods that I'm doing at the moment. Pretty nice, pretty simple and easy. You don't need a lot of wood, probably, probably one tree, one actual decent slash sufficient tree. So as you can see, we've got our wood now as well, and it's not even peaked sort of midday. So as you can see, this is kind of like a rush method. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing because I haven't played this so long. Boop, there we go, boop. Obviously we can make a crafting table now. You want to just slam that down as there's no danger in the day apart from creepers. Be warned. They are tricky little shits, let me tell you. That's for damn sure. So we're just going to build a wooden pick. That's all you're going to build for the time being. Don't build anything else. I'm going to show you why. Pick up your crafting bench now just by punching it or using your wooden uh, pickaxe because you won't be using this for a very long time. Once we grab that, look around its surrounding areas. Holy shit, there's a possessed wolf! Okay, we're going to bail that because it's after that bunny. We're going to run all the way over here and try and find something that has cobblestone or anything in particular that takes your fancy, any ores or anything like that. But that's later on because we're talking about the first night. Hopefully that wolf doesn't come up and actually devour my soul. But let's carry on. So let's carry on here. I'm going to obviously get three of cobblestone. Depends how you feel. One, two, three. Once you've done all that. This is optional. Obviously, as I say, if you're rushed for the evening or the night, make sure you do not get cobblestone. You just want to build a house, uh, have some food, and just wait it out. But if you're convenient and lucky like me and you have those sheeps there, um, obviously you've got sheep from the food, the food from the sheep, sorry, and also as well you've got some food from your cows. Uh, food is probably the main thing in this game, to be totally fair. I'd go for that. I preferred on anything. I'm not too sure what the fuck that is. Hello. Ooh, some new ores in this game. But yeah, that's probably the main thing you're going to be doing first, is just bomb rush all of that. And then once you've got some cobblestone, which is a sufficient amount, it should be about midday by then. Obviously, you start in the daytime. Hardcore, I personally would, hopefully, they would change the settings to something like crazy. Um, for aspects like it would start at night because that would literally be hardcore and after that you pretty much want to make a hatchet after you've made some cobble picks now with cobble you can actually just carry on you can make yourself a house personally I'm not though I'm gonna grab some more wood because uh, I'm gonna be sort of as I've got the time and the resources and everything else I'm gonna grab some wood really nice and easy just get a couple of trees probably on about three or four trees after this to build a house and obviously your bed to combine with that wall about then it should be about sun sunset and then also it's all good you can also kick the house out of it and do certain other things as well you can bash some grass down and maybe even make a farm with some cobble just some um, 
near some water reservation like there. Uh, build a house right next to it, hoe out some dirt, which you can make through the cobblestone from the chest and the wood that you've got from here, and then crack on with that, basically. It's quite easy. Obviously, if you're looking for patterns as well, I might do a sort of a tutorial on how to do other things like that, but for a first night, as I say, you're going to need food first, and then sufficiently, you're going to probably need to try and find some sheep, depends what sort of thing you spawned on. Personally, if it's going to be a map that you don't like, uh, for instance, I don't like the maps that um, spawn you off straight away, in a winter zone because I know for a damn fact it's very hard to find food or sheeps. Personally I'd find sort of a grassy biome like this or anything like that. Not a jungle one, it's very hard to find anything in that in particular, food or sheep. So uh, you want to start off with the linear or sort of the basic sort of map which is going to be this sort of setup right now that we're playing. So as you can see my food is getting very low. Uh, I'm just going to go around, oh my hunger is getting very low, and go around and kill some more of these cows. He knows what's coming, I'm going to fucking absolutely own him. More of cobblestone here, so I'm going to go on a little cobblestone run right now. And, uh, and then we'll crack on and I'll tell you what else to do. So let's just grab some more cobblestone, hopefully we hit some iron, if we're lucky. That doesn't need to be attained on the first night, but it's very handy if you do. Obviously you feel a little bit more secure if you had a weapon. Also as well, if you don't have any of that, you can actually just build straight into a cobble face, or even just a hole like I am now, and then build, come in, build the tops up and just camp in here. So which you're probably going to be doing just to show you how uh, easy it can be. So we're going to grab the rest of this cobblestone. Cobblestone as well can be made into a furnace. So what we're going to be doing now is switching back. And I've lost my crafting table. So always pick up your crafting table, kids. Don't Make sure you don't leave that shit. Let's put a crafting table down and with our 41 cobblestone, which we have, make a cheeky little furnace, like so. Whoop. Put the furnace right next to it. Now you can actually use anything. I personally am going to use wood for the time being, purely because we've got a, quite a bit of it. As you can see, we've stack it up in here. We've got a quite a bit of wood, 64 stack, which is a max stack, and then probably two thirds or a fifth. I'm gonna say a quarter of a stack there. Whack in your meat, start cooking. Now, as you can see, it's probably just gone midday. So I'm gonna come down here and bash this other guy's head in because he's conveniently close, and the other one that's behind me as well. And as well, you get experience, so no worries about that. Hello, you know what's going on. Anything else around here that's decent? Let's take a couple more trees as well, just to suffice that. But guys, if you don't have the convenience of this, then obviously, you know, run through the messages first. You need food first. Always go for food. Everything else is pretty much a luxury. Trees are pretty much everywhere. Uh, there were no trees here, obviously. Trees, as far as I can see, there's a tree there, there's a tree there. There's probably none over there because my view distance is slightly off. Uh, maybe some over there, some cobblestone, if you look at the bottom left over here. Over there. As you can see, there's food up there, which is sufficient, and loads of trees here, and obviously a nice juicy little bit of cobble face right there. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Hello, what is this? There's some loads of new ores in here. I'm just going to grab some of this as well, because I have no idea what this is. I think this is gravel, maybe? No, it's not. Whatever the hell that is. I haven't played this game for so damn long. I have no idea. But as you can see, our food is cooking. Awesome sauce. Let's go into the crafting bench as well and make a bed. So three wood on the bottom. And you're going to need three wool. I did say two, but I think it is three. So I'm going to build slightly bigger out as well as we got time, because it hasn't hit night just yet. I'm going to build this out a little bit more. A little bit more. It's going to look a little bit shitty and a little bit rustic, but we're going to put that there like that. I'm going to come across with our cobblestone. We're going to build sort of a just enough door there. And we're going to build over here. Now you want to leave two here just like that. This is actually technically enough for your character to walk through. And obviously when it hits night, I'm just going to barricade this up like so. Or even just leave one just to let some moonlight in. And then uh, we're going to go to sleep. So it's not night just yet. But that's what you're going to need, guys. Food straight off the bat. You need somewhere to hide at night. Because then obviously from here, when I wake up the next day, I've got food to go out journey. I can pack all this up and leave. I can go to a different destination. can find some ores, find some more food on the way. It's just about progressing that ever so small and that ever so slightly. So as you can see, my hunger level is pretty damn low. I'm going to switch to my food right here, which we just cooked. Mmm, juicy steak. And I'm going to norm on some of this. You can see my hunger has gone back up to full. Now, I have literally got so much day left. I'm not going to carry this on. I'm just going to just... Just wait till it goes to night and then I'm going to show you we're going to sleep and then that will be the end of our first night. Pretty damn easy. I was very lucky in this situation. But guys, if you do find a world that you don't like, remember you can always restart. You're not fixated onto that one world. Try and find something that's similar, that looks similar to this. Big grassy plains or even just trees covered in somewhere. You will find food and you will find sheep eventually. Obviously, if you don't have any sheep and you do find food, make, make sure to just barricade yourself up. Eat some food. And even if you want, just carry on mining till you get in it. 
The first night is always very safe, uh, regardless if you're mining all the way down. Uh, I know this from my experience, you can mine probably the first two nights without any issues, and then after that, I'm going to be practically honest, there's going to be some creepy shit that's going to come out through the caves. So, pretty nice, pretty easy, the night is coming to an end. That has been this episode, guys. If you've got any other questions or any other tutorials that you want to see, or anything in particular with Minecraft, please let me know in the comment section. If you've made it this far, thank you very much, I love you, thank you very much for watching. But until the next time, guys, Killer Kev here, and Killer Kev out.